Courtney Brickner with The Crafty Brick, and I am going to show you another episode of Crafty Tuesday today. It's actually a repost of a live that I did over on Instagram, and we did paint pouring. So I tested out some different methods of paint pouring using some ready paint, ready pour paint from Art Deco, and it turned out really cool. So if you liked this episode and you learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything crafty. Stay tuned for the episode. Hello, it is Courtney Brickner with The Crafty Brick, and it's Crafty Tuesday, and here I am again, back doing something that I have not done in the past, and trying it out here live with you, and not knowing how it's gonna go. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just, it's been a day. It's been quite a day. My, um, hello friends. I just got back from the airport. I was dropping my sister off. My sister and the baby have been visiting for the past week. And if you've seen my stories, you've seen my house is under construction. It is insane here right now. Um, we didn't have any water all day. We just got water at like 4 p.m. We don't have gas right now. I guess the plumber's gonna be coming shortly. So if the bell rings, the, what's it called? The doorbell, if it rings. Sorry, that plumber's coming because we don't have any hot water. But oh, I'm here. It's Crafty Tuesday. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm so happy you're here. So I'm going to forget about all the craziness of my day and enjoy some crafting tonight. That's, that's the plan. Hopefully I'm going to enjoy it and I hope that it works out the way it's supposed to. Um, I've got my table here. It rolls. I don't know if you guys saw that I finished that. It is so cool. So I'll be able to move it so you can get a better view. Um, so who's here for the first time tonight at Crafty Tuesday? And where are y'all joining me from? I see a lot of friends are here. I'm so happy. I love that you guys come to craft with me. It's going to be fun tonight. I don't know if you guys have seen the paint pouring, but I'm kind of mesmerized by those videos. Um, they just, they're so soothing to watch. I love them. I don't know if mine's going to be soothing, but we're going to see. I'm excited to try it. I got these little um, ready pour paints. So I guess when you do it, typically you use acrylic paint and you've got to add some things to it. What is it? Um, no additives needed. That's what this one says. But I guess normally if you're using it, you might have to add. Hey, first time from Aliso Viejo. Hi, welcome. For anything paint, artist free. Hey, I'm so happy you stopped by. I am painting tonight. I've never done this and I'm super excited to try it. All right, so this is what I've got. They are ready pour paints. I got four colors. They all came in this package. So what my, my goal tonight, I've been watching a lot of videos online and I've gotten some tips from friends who do paint pouring. So I, I'm hoping to do a couple different techniques. I've got plastic on my table and I have a few canvases that I got um, from Dollar Tree. So I've got those ready. Someone told me have an extra canvas handy so when you are finished pouring and you're and you're tilting it that you can have an extra canvas to catch your excess paint so I've got that ready I don't know how much really this covers I, I don't know um, so we're gonna see we're gonna see hopefully I have enough to do more than one but I'm excited so I'm gonna just let me see if they're sealed on on the inside of it they are so let me take these off because they all have a little cover on them this is like a little salmon orange I don't really know what these colors are I don't, I don't know I was there were so many options to choose and I wasn't quite sure I thought maybe some summer fun colors might be cool to do so we'll see and this pink is pretty oh I'm excited I think these are gonna blend really nicely a nice summer fun painting let's see 
You are versatile in your crafting. <laughs> I'm versatile in my trying things out. Yes. Crafty Tuesday has definitely gotten me um, more into trying out some different things. I don't know. I don't usually do these things like just on a day to day basis. I'm just like, there are so many things though that I want to try and I just feel like I never have time. I never really made time to try it. But now I'm like Crafty Tuesday. I can try it. So I'm going to try, look at, first what I'm going to, I got some gloves, just so I'm not like totally filled with paint because I am going to be tilting. So my first idea is to just pour some paints on, like what I've seen. So I think what I'm going to do here, what will I do? I think I'm going to move the camera over to my Archon so you can get an aerial view of exactly what it's looking like. So let's tilt it over here. You guys like this view right here? I think this is a little bit better so you can really see what it looks like. All right, got my, let's tilt it a little. There we go, I think that's good. Okay, so I've got my canvas here. I'm gonna start, I don't know, I'm winging it here. So let's start with this orange. I'm just gonna pour some in the middle there. I'm gonna pour a little bit more. Oh, you know what? It looks like I should have maybe shaken it first. I'm pretty sure it told me to shake it. So shake it a little bit first. And then I'm gonna add a little bit in the middle. Let's shake this pink. Let's add a little pink. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go, guys. Like I said, I don't really know how much I should be using, but we're gonna see how this works. A little yellow here. I don't know, let's try another orange in the middle. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. All right, it is spreading, so that's good. And then I'm gonna do this pink again, just because. Oh, what is that? That's, I guess that's like a dark pink and then a little pink. And then I'm gonna add one more yellow in the middle and then I'm gonna start. Okay, all right guys, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna put my gloves on because I am tilting it around and I just don't wanna get paint all over. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's see, tilt it that way. It looks like maybe I could use a little bit more. Cause it's like going slowly and I don't really know what you're supposed to do when you do this. I don't know. I'm going to put some more over here, some more over here, and then I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing guys. I'm just going to, cause it doesn't seem like it's spreading enough. So let's see this. Try a little more pink in the middle. Hi, come here. And then we'll try this yellow here. Oh, blow it. Okay. I will try that too. Maybe I'll get my heat gun and blow it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's one more. Oh, let me get my tray. I got that to also drip. if I blow it <laughs> it seems a little thick to blow oh maybe not I think it'll probably be better with um, a heat gun how about I try a heat gun and see what it does what do you think maybe use a hair dryer. there you go I'm gonna try that I'm gonna pull this off let me get my heat gun it is handy, I think. Shoot, where is it? Oh, man. See, when I don't put things away where they belong, then I don't know where they are. 
All right, guys. Sorry, I don't know where my heat gun is. Maybe Kaya can bring me on a hair dryer. Hey, Kaya. Can you please bring my hair dryer up? Thank you. Hi, friend. You made it to paint pouring. I don't know about my paint pouring. I mean, I guess there's no way it's supposed to look. I want some more pink in there. Maybe a little more pink over here. And a little more orange. Okay, Kaya's got my hair dryer. Hey, kiddo, can you plug it in over there for me, please? I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, let's see what happens. I got my hair dryer up here now. I'm gonna blow it a little bit. I've been wanting to try that. I'm glad you've been wanting to try that and let's see how it works. Okay, can you take off the, um, the diffuser? Thank you very much. I can't oh, nails. your nails. Okay, let me take off my glove. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna use a little blow dryer and see what happens. On low, is it plugged in? Mm -hmm. Maybe push that red button. There we go, okay. Why is it not like going? Can I do that? That's not making it move really at all. That seems like it's just drying it. Okay. I don't know about that. That didn't really move it. All right, so let me try this other style. I don't think I put enough paint on it to begin with, but let me try. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is this other method I saw. Let's see, I have a little cup here. Let's see, let me see if you guys have any. I've seen that, let me see. I've seen like that paint, they use a lot of paint so it can move easily and cover the whole thing. Okay, I need more paint. I think that's probably the problem. We're doing paint pouring if you're just joining me right here. So there's the first one I just did. I'm gonna try out another one, another method. Um, so probably this, these little tubes just don't make a lot of paint or a big product project that's what i'm thinking of okay but i'm gonna see i'm gonna try let's put this pink here okay this is another method i saw what did they do they pour and pour Okay, let's see. This is a lot more paint than I had before. Let's try this again. Let's try it again and see what happens. I'm gonna put my glove back on. I'm gonna get my tray here. And let's see what we do. Let's see what we get. Oh, that moves a lot more freely. Okay. it all the way down on that side part so this is my very first time doing paint pouring so I'm not the person to talk to about technique but I can talk to you about the first time I'm trying it oh the plumber is here or somebody's here construction people are back sorry about that okay it's running down this way Let's see what it does here. So yeah, I guess I've seen the videos. They just use a ton of paint. They use a lot of paint that I'm just not using. But I think it doesn't really matter which way you do it, right? All right, let's do this yellow here. And then some of this. So I really wanted to cover the whole thing. Oh, there we 
we go. There we go. Now it's going all the way down. I'm glad I have this tray. Let's see, I wanted to go cover this white part down here. I think this is cool. Definitely cool. I think I want orange on this part. So slide the orange with a little pink here. Maybe a little pink there too. Okay, so that's slid all the way down. Let's get that covered down there. Super cool. All right. Let's see. So now, I mean, I guess that's done. It's supposed to, I think, cover all the edges. Ah! <laughs> I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. Okay. There's all these white edges up here. Let me try and get these. See if it'll <clears throat> trip down. I probably shouldn't have like I don't know rubbed that in because then it looks different than the others. Okay. Hi. That's cool. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you think? Paint pouring. It's messy. I assumed that would be the case. Okay. I'm gonna take these gloves off. Let's see what you guys are chatting about. Let me tilt my camera up a bit. All right, let's see what's what's going on in here. I'll do another one. Just joined, use a straw. Oh, the colors combined is so pretty. You need a lot of paint. That's what people are saying, you need a lot of paint. How long does it take to dry? I really have no idea. But a straw, I do have a straw, so I kinda wanna try that. I have no idea how long it takes to dry. Let me get my little straw here. Let's see, I have two size straws. Let's see if that works. I'm assuming it's gonna take, you know, a little while to dry. It's, I mean, it's some thick, drippy, wet paint, so I think it's gonna take some time. Let's tilt it back down here. Um, it does look like a pack of Starburst. Let's see if I can pour a little on here and then blow on here. Ooh! Oh, you guys, the straw works. I'm gonna try a little yellow here. Oh, I kind of like this ripple effect. Thank you for that suggestion. Okay, so that got it to cover. Let me, I'm gonna blow it off the table and I'm gonna be mad I get paint on the floor. Let's blow a little more gently. But I want there to be some kind of orange in there. Oops, I'm touching this one over here. Let me come around this way. All right, so they're very different looks. The straw 
and um, that works much better than the blow dryer. It certainly does. Okay, so it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking. The straw works better. Now what I want to try, I got something else I want to try. Let's see. So I want to go back to what I did the first time. Can you, oh, you can still see this one. Good. Um, I just want to pour some in the middle and see if I can just kind of blow it gently along the sides. But I think you're very, very right that it needs a lot of paint. It does kind of look like cotton candy. So I'm using much more than I did the first time. Ah, paint all over this. And we're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna try my smaller straw. Okay, and maybe I'll tilt it a little bit now. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. What do you think? Do you think I should tilt it? kind of think let's let's just see what it does we'll go this way this way a little blowing didn't really do anything with that this way it just needs so much paint so I think this little container these little containers um, just don't do like a ton, like a lot of pictures, but I mean, I'm doing three right here. They're all very different. That's my favorite. This one in the mid middle here is my fave so far. Let's see what this one does. Let me get this. Oh, it looks cool in here too. Look at that. Oh, sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Ooh, it's totally coming down. It's so interesting, you would never have <laughs> the same picture no matter even if you use the exact same colors, you would never have the same picture. It's gonna always be different. All right, so I think I wanna, I mean, this one is moving pretty good here. It looks very peachy though. I put a lot of, of the kind of orangey look in here. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm off to the side. You can't even see what I'm doing. Should have kept blowing it outwards. I have one more canvas. Maybe I'll just do one that's just blowing. Ah. Okay. I'm going to do one that's just blowing. Let me wipe my hands off. Okay, I have one more canvas. Let's blow it out and see what it does. Last one. Keep blowing it outwards. 
Okay, I'm gonna start with this in the middle. Some orange. Pink. And some yellow. Okay, let's see. This, I want to even get these little tools from um, Dollar Tree. I was thinking of doing something down the middle. Oh my gosh, I'm dripping paint on my floor. I knew I was going to do that. Let me move this over. What the heck? Oh, I should have put some, um, a drop cloth on the floor as well. This is a messy project. Okay. Let's try and see what this does blowing. If you're just joining, I'm doing paint pouring. I'm trying out a different technique with it. Kind of cool. I like this one. What do you guys think of this one? That's pretty cool. Use the bigger straw. Do you think I should blow more with the bigger straw? So like blow now. So I use the smaller one. Now see what happens if I use the bigger one. Let's see. Hold on, it's not blowing. I don't like that it's taking away all of that. But I think if I add a little more um, of the darker colors in the middle and then blow that, that'll be cool too. Now I want to try and do a little of this in the middle and blow that. I think I'm going to try and blow that with the little straw. This is cool. Take the small, you like the small straw better? I like the small straw better too. This 
this is really cool i think i want to pull it all the way to the edge <sighs> i'd be passed <laughs> i'm kind of losing my breath <laughs> Although I have switched the way I'm blowing. I felt like when I started out, I was blowing kind of hard and I didn't, that was that. I didn't like that look as much. So that was using the big straw and kind of hard blows. Um, but I'm just using really soft blows with the little straw. So cool. Should I add another color? Like should I try and maybe do that orange in the middle? I don't know. Let's see what do you guys think. No. Yes, no, yes, no. I'm trying to get it all the way over to the edges. I kind of like how it starts out kind of dark in the middle and kind of fades away. A total artist guys it does look like tie-dye oh I did a little wave oh look it like blended because I waved it while I was blowing oops I didn't mean to tap that Okay. You guys, that's cool. like how that middle looks. It's hard to know when to stop. It's really fun. So, oh my goodness, paint pouring, paint pouring, so cool. I'm going to, hold real quick, let me just get, let me wipe this towel real quick, my hands are filthy. One momento. I actually have 
running water now. I have not had that all day long, but I do now. A chrysanthemum, it does. So I'm going to get my camera and turn it around so that I can show you all of them. I mean, obviously they're all the same color, but I mean, they all look a little different. This one looks super, super different. All right, just wiping my hands off. I don't wanna get um, paint all over my bone. Let's see. Okay, so we'll tilt down. Actually, I'm gonna tilt, can I flip the camera? I don't know. Let's see, okay, here we go. Flip the camera. So here's one that we did. I just did that one, pouring, what did I use? One of these little cups, and I poured it on and then tilted it. And I did the same thing with that one. This one I started with paint in the middle and then blew it with this big straw, kind of hard blows with that one. And this one, I started with paint in the middle, but I used this little straw to do softer little blow with it. So these are how they all turned out. I I think it's really cool. I have, um, but I've seen people do them. I'm gonna put the camera back over here. I've seen them do it with something how they're blowing stuff. But I tried the blow dryer and that didn't work very well. So I'm not sure what they were using to blow. I'm gonna have to look into that because I kind of think that'd be pretty cool. But you like the last one? I like the last one too. I think they're all very, very cool. Try and show you all of them again. Paint pouring. I think I'm a fan of paint pouring. I think that's cool. I'm not usually into really messy stuff, but I love watching these, so I thought I just had to try it. And I think eventually, I am going to try it, like, just maybe, like, putting something through. I hate to mess any of them up. I just, oh, and this one has little drips on it because, oh, because I was doing that and drips of paint were getting on that. So, it's cool. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. It seems like it's going to take forever because it is so wet. It's, like, just thick, very thick paint. Um... So I can't answer that question. But that last one is fire. The first one looks like, looks like face. It looks like a, the first one does. I don't know. Oh, the side, the profile. It, I totally see that. It does look like a side profile of a face. This is so cool. You guys, thank you for um, paint pouring for me. You did trip it on the other painting. Yes, I did. So there are some little drips, but it still is cool. I guess you can't really mess these up. I think that's the fun part about paint pouring. You just put a lot of paint on. Um, I started out with a little too small amount of paint. Um, small straw is definitely the way to go. But part of me really, I mean, the small straw, it's very blended on the edges. I kind of like the very defined colors of the first two. So I don't know, I like them all. I kind of like the cotton candy feel too. Maybe I put them all up. It's kind of a cool compliment for, or they all kind of complement each other. So that's cool. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm really um, completely done. I still might mess around here. <laughs> I might mess around here. I'm not gonna mess up the last one, but I think, I don't know. I feel like I wanna blow <laughs> them some more and just see what happens. I'm not sure. But I guess that's, I guess I'm done with the live. That was really fun, guys. And I like this on the inside too. That's just pouring, that's so pretty. That's what my friend was telling me, keep the, um, she actually told me to put it on another canvas, but I forgot that part. I didn't do it, I just did all four canvases. But they were all from the Dollar Tree, so I think it was perfect. I just got some cheap canvases and this ready pour paint from Michaels. And I think that it turned out really well. Um, thank you for joining me, guys. I love doing Crafty Tuesday with you. Next week, we are... What are we doing next week? We're doing a Dollar Tree craft. And I'm going to share that. 
when I figure out which Dollar Tree craft we're doing. I have so many in mind that I want to try. I have a whole folder of Dollar Tree crafts, so I just need to pick one that I think would be fun to do live with you that I think you'll enjoy. Um, that's the plan. And that's Crafty Tuesday. It's a wrap. Thank you guys for coming and joining me tonight while we craft live. I think that was really fun. And I will see you again next week. Until then, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.